channel and I hope you'll come and join me experience this flight going back to Manila. We are going to eat and enjoy some drinks. So with the plane that I rode from Edinburgh to Doha, the screen was close enough that I could actually touch the screen which I prefer but it's so far the distance between the screen and myself so definitely have to use one of these. I do have to apologize in advance in case my voice in this plane isn't so clear. I was doing my best to speak to the mic, however, I did have a seatmate right next to me and it was funny because the moment we took off, I actually crashed, I fell asleep because I had an 8 hour layover and I was really knackered. And so while I was sleeping, the rest of the plane was eating and enjoying the flight and then once the entire plane was going to sleep like my seat made to my right that was the time i got really hungry and woke up and then i started recording these videos interesting enough my seatmate was feeling cold and she asked the flight attendant to close the ac uh, knob but none of them could reach it and so me being there i had to do everything it's uh it's what you get for not having a q suite or not having your own cubicle or cabin i do wish we had separate chairs like the usual business class but this plane is definitely one of i would say they're newer in terms of their their first models and hence it's very ancient for us in this year no that is actually not white wine that is their port it is absolutely my favorite it's so sweet it's almost like drinking syrup i know that may not sound good but it goes well with the crisps This is what our plane looks like. It's pretty quiet and most of the windows are down. That's because everyone is wanting to sleep while I just woke up and I'm ready to chow. If you can see the flight attendant, her face is actually very close to mine. It's because we both wanted to be extra sensitive to the person sitting right next to me who was literally inches away from us. And so if we were speaking or like I was speaking to the camera, she could definitely hear us. However, she could always opt to use her earplugs. And she also had to cross over her legs uh, to reach over my table. So you'll see later in a while that I definitely helped the flight attendant serve my food by grabbing the plates, the utensils, the napkins, and everything that comes with it instead of her having to cross over because my table is quite far from the aisle. Don't think I'm an alcoholic. Yes, there are two glasses of wine. One is dessert wine and the other one is port. It's only because the port is so sweet that I wanted something less sweet. However, the dessert wine, hence the name, it's pretty self-explanatory. It does taste like a dessert. You can almost eat it with pancakes. I kid you not, my sugar tolerance isn't so great just because I've been trying to eat healthy for this flight so that I can indulge if that makes sense. So for the past four days, I've been trying to focus on vegetables, smoothies in the morning, uh, eating light dinner at night so that during this 
long experience or flight going home, I could definitely indulge. Just to get a recap, my flight from Edinburgh to Doha was seven and a half hours. So that's a lot of time to munch and indulge. And then my layover was another eight hours. By that time, I was really trying to do my best to experience the entire lounge. And that means showering, taking naps on their couches or their living room. And they also have reclining chairs that act as a bed. However, with the eating part, I was only able to have smoked salmon at the Al Murjan Business Lounge of the Hamad International Airport over at Doha. So by then, by this time, I'm actually cooking up an appetite. So I'm ready to eat again. This flight is nine hours long. Can you imagine how many hours we have to indulge or we don't have to, but one thing that Qatar Airways prides themselves on during these flights is their dine on demand experience. If you don't believe me, you can check out their website. Yes, their website does say dine on demand. So if you're a closet eater, like sometimes I am, I quite like being able to have my own privacy or privacy. And so that's where the Q Suite really comes in handy. I can order, I can have wine tasting. And in my one of my previous flights, I actually got to try four different wines all at the same time while indulging on their cheese platter. How many times have I said the word <laughs> indulge? But basically, yes if you are flying with qatar airways this is one of my favorite features and one of the reasons why i love flying with them i used to fly with cathay pacific emirates and singapore airlines but nothing quite tops it like qatar airways does for now at least this might not be new news for some of you who are watching my video but the premium economy of certain airlines, say like Emirates, they are designing their premium economy to look like business class now. And with Qatar Airways, their business class with the Q-Suite is designed to sort of mimic their first class. I don't think that was my appetizer yet. I think they just gave that for something. It's salmon on Japanese rice and the yellow bit is a mango. Oh, it's so refreshing and it's very satisfying. And so because of this ongoing trend, I feel like with the coming years, especially since the pandemic is over, I definitely think that the competition with seats is definitely going to be uh, one to look after, especially if you are willing to pay a little bit more to experience something a little bit more comfortable. Back in the day with Philippine Airlines, and when I say back in the day, I mean the 80s, the Philippine Airlines used to be the top of the creme de la creme with airlines our, our airlines used to be really luxurious we were one of the best in the world but of course in due time a lot of other airlines were able to catch up and so that left us far behind one thing i love about dining with qatar airways i love the candlelight effect it makes it look a little bit more romantic like you're fine dining and you're having a date with yourself Again, I really do apologize in case my voice or my audio isn't clear. But as I was saying, for me right now, and a lot of my viewers do say the same, that Qatar Airways is pretty good at what they do at the moment. If Emirates or other airlines like Singapore Airlines and who knows, maybe even JAL, if they do decide to catch up, I'm quite excited to see what the future holds for 
business class or even premium economy because personally and this is just for me my goal is to be able to experience one of the best business class at the most cost efficient pricing i suppose what are your favorite airlines to fly with i'm quite curious my travels are usually quite far since i'm from asia i like visiting places that are further out i don't know if that's just me but a lot of people seem to do that as well westerners like flying over to asia and for me and my family we like visiting countries like japan but definitely europe and we're hoping to visit the nordic countries too i kind of underestimated my lobster cocktail it's not even a cocktail i was thinking it's gonna come in a glass but it's all set up nicely in a, on a plate uh, the lobster's looking good but what's really exciting me is what looks like some crab roe tartare or sorry what looks like crab tartare i thought it was salmon tartare but yeah it definitely looks like crab and it's got some fish roe on top so let's dig in i'm starving Right now we are about 4 hours to landing and with everything that we've had so far, I'm pretty full. I don't know about you, but as you'll see in a while, the main course is about to arrive. There's something I need to get off my chest and I know I've said this so many times, but my seatmate who is so close to me to my right, at first I was feeling a little guilty because I was speaking a lot to the camera. But at the same time, I wasn't sure which, which to open, which lights to open. I turned on my spotlight, which you can see right now. I also tried opening a little of my window just because I wanted that ray of sunshine. And in case you're wondering, we did leave Doha at 8 a.m. And it's strange because you think that you're flying all throughout the day. However, by the time we land Manila, it's actually going to be midnight. So if you can see now, the flight attendant is being so careful as to not wake up my ever so quiet seatmate. She's actually sleeping. I did have to help the flight attendant a lot just so that she doesn't spill the food. Oh my gosh, would you imagine if... Well, I don't even want to say it, but let's... Yeah, it, basically, if you know the plane that you're flying in, best to always get the window seat just because I suppose you would be less bothered. conversation i was having with my flight attendant her name is claire by the way she was asking me if i wanted any condiments she was offering ketchup mayonnaise mustard i was asking if my dish came with any wedges or chips then i would absolutely love some mayo and mustard i don't fancy the flavor of ketchup by the way but i do love tomato soup and tomato paste
course arrived it's choco prawns with jasmine rice however the jasmine rice it's i mean it's so asian that i'm forgetting what it's like to have such savory salty and sweet asian food um, i've stayed in the uk for so long that i mean my palate has adjusted to the natural flavors of vegetables and fruit which is which is actually very good it's um it's healthier and here i can already see this the rice swimming in soy sauce and um, and the vegetables and the deep fried prawns so whatever i'm gonna enjoy this like i said when i get back to manila when i touch base less salt less sugar healthier but for now let's indulge let's eat Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun up in the air and I shall see you soon on my next video. Bye! Long story short, everything is sold out. I finished my entire food. It's almost so embarrassing how clean my plate looks. From here, we are going to be enjoying one more dish which I will show you in the next video. It's actually dessert. Yum yum, one of my favorite meals. Um, and I hope you will join me on my next video because we are finally going to be landing in Manila, Vanilla after this long flight.